Parliament will now take the decision in the first place, and then the withdrawal process will go ahead. My view, my personal view, and I think the view of all my colleagues, is that that does not help us. Uh, the South Africa withdrawing properly is not the issue before us. Our issue is not whether South Africa does it properly. Our issue is that South Africa should not withdraw at all. We are encouraging the portfolio committee to, in their they will need to take a fresh decision about whether or not to leave the Rome Statute, and we would encourage them to not leave the Rome Statute. We've made some quite substantive arguments around that position. And the second is that we focused on substantive uh, issues which have been incorporated in the bill, and what we're most concerned about is the issues which have been left out of the bill. And primarily what this is, is that the repeal bill doesn't cater for any ongoing investigations and ongoing matters, which the NPA and the police services are dealing with currently, but there's no provision for any kind of transitional arrangements. And that's our primary concern with the, with the bill as it stands. So what we are advocating for is either a scrapping of the current bill or revision of the bill uh, to incorporate these transitional justice issues. But of course, the first prize would be for Parliament to deliberate on the issue of leaving the ICC and to arrive at a fresh decision not to leave. And we feel that Parliament first needs to arrive at this decision before it can actually engage on the repeal bill. And to do it the other way around is actually to put the horse before the cart. The International Criminal Court has summoned South Africa to a cooperation hearing at The Hague, which is taking place on the 7th of April. Uh, next month. South Africa must now make submissions, written submissions to the ICC and an explanation for why it allowed President Bashir to leave in June of 2015. Um, this, this hearing will be, will be a public hearing, it will be um, streamed live so you will be able to view it from here and um, of course there will be very interesting deliberations. My organization, the Southern Africa Litigation Center, has been granted leave to file an amicus application.